Come along with my bimbley. <laughs> yes. Another red balloon is flying away in the wind. Then Rothers in the yellow. Then Furman in the red. That's a lovely picture for you. Come on, Oliver Green. It's a neck and necker. Nothing in it. When they go back, it's a relay. Tether Wasby takes over. Don Fumlin there. Jen Rothers with one. Jen Rothers with two. Don Fumlin with one. Cumberland with one. Don Fumlin. Is it Don Fumlin? Yes. Yeah, Well, <laughs> well, who won that one then? I've got banners here which says Glasgow Rangers. Arthur, a bit of a problem, I think, because I saw one of the Dunfermline balloons waft away in the afternoon breeze. Yes, but that is allowed. It's quite correct, is that? But they're not the winners. Oh, come and all of the winners. In, oh! in second place, Dunfermline. And in third place, Glen Rothes. And the points. Yes. Three points to Cumbernauld. Three points to Cumbernauld. Two points to Dunfermline. Two points to Dunfermline. And one point to Glen Rothes. And one point to Glen Rothes, and we come now to game number two. The big hooks have to be lassoed. I would now like to introduce to you. A superstar from Dunfermline named Ian Watson. Yes! And from Cumbernauld on the other side, Michael Kavanagh. Yes, if you please. These mightily muscled men have to struggle their way down the course, lassoing hook by hook by hook. But now I espy over here a very, very famous Scottish lassie indeed by the name of Lindsay MacDonald. She is wearing her Great Britain track suit. <laughs> Lindsay, you're very popular. You better tell us exactly what you've won. Uh, well, in Moscow, I got a bronze medal in the 4 by 400 meter really. And what are you training for now? I know you're 17 and you're still at school. You're doing your hires and doing remarkably well. What are you training for now? Well, um, I'll just carry on running, and this year I'll be doing the 100 and 200, and um, the Commonwealth Games are on next year, and I'll just have to train hard and see if I can get picked for them. Not only get picked, but you'll get a gold medal, surely, won't you? Oh, I don't know. Will she get a gold medal next year? <laughs> With that sort of wonderful support, you can't go wrong. But more than that, she is playing the Dunfermline Joker, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and this is critical. Right, Arthur, the chips are down for Dunfermline. Get the boys on their way. Ready? Three, two, one. Where are the Dunfermline cheers? I, they've gone dead. Dunfermline in the lead. By one hook at Michael Cavanaugh. In the green. The Cumbernauld, catching up. Now, will nerves play a part with Dr. Watson? He's 28. He's a joy to my trade, but he's a gymnast, as you might be able to tell by the way he's doing this game. Michael on the other side is a PE student, but Ian Watson is definitely two hooks in the lead. He's got the rhythm. He's going strongly in the red nearest the camera. Two more hooks to go. A lovely technique, and every time he hooks one on, a cheer goes up. And he's one more to go. And the ring 
of confidence is glowing round Ian Watson. And this is the final one. He goes through. A quick hold down. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we said he was a superstar. Give him a nice round of applause. Come on. Okay, Super Duper, how did you make mincemeat of our tricky game? Because that was devised by paratrooper Stuart Ferber, our designer himself. Oh, it's hard work. How have you been training? How have you been training for this sort of thing? Just exercise. Just exercise. exercise. What a mighty muscle man. Right, step aside while Arthur tells you about your six points. Yes. Right, Dum Fermlin are the winners. Three points to Dum Fermlin, the play the joker. Dumbling up to six. Who's refereeing this game? Six points to Dum Fermlin. Six points to Dum Fermlin as they played their joker. Two points to Cumberno. Two points to Cumberno. So after two games. Confirming the lead with eight points, Cumberno five, Glenn Rothis one, and Eddie with you. Where are you going to end this? It's a talk of budgies. And the Kamikaze are in the, in the marathon this week. Three budgies are to walk the plank. One at a time as they cross the flying budgie from the opposing team tries to knock them off. The team gets most budgies safely across wind. First across are the budgies from Dun Firmlin. And uh, away they go on Mike Swan's whistle. Get ready to cheer when they are they going, whichever you want them to be, in or out. Well, that's it. Cut. And a lovely. Dunfermline, Mary Blair, Malcolm Cameron. They've got to, they've to knock the bell, as you see now. I was going to show you something pretty good later on. Heading them in, three. Anne Stevenson, the Flying Birds, Sam Wilson, and the PE teacher. And Kenny Lamb, a student. The steady is rocking, steady boy is in. He's in for the early bath. When he nods, you nod with him. <laughs> as long as he keeps at that end. You nearly missed. I wait. So, one minute gone. So you've time to. It's the hole. What a beauty. He's going to get trapped in that ladder if he's not careful. Hey, Budget, come out. He shouldn't be there. <laughs> come on, get out. I they give up messing about. You're supposed to be going on the play. Well done. Give him a cheer. And a clap. Thank you. He like it. I bet he's wet too. Uh, George Ross, an engineer in the Dunfermline team. And with my Yorkshire accent, breaking all the rules and regulations. Oh, that was uh, a bit of a that slice there. But hey! hey. His legs have come off now. <laughs> Well, with the greatest of ease, three daring young men on. Right, that's him. Uh, it's what they call a slapper. Oh, 30 seconds left. Points are very important. One of the important games to win, and handsomely. This is the first heat. Two more to go. Well, five, four, three, two, one, maybe near. Uh, uh, so, is he all right? He's down. Well, that's the first leg of the marathon over. Jan, uh, Jan, the girl who puts the scores on. Right, how many? Well, welcome to the show. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Dunfermline got 14 budgies safely across. 14 budgies safely across. 14. Very good. And Stuart. Well, thank you, Eddie. We now come to another important game. It's a sort of caterpillar traction. There's a sort of barrow here with a roller underneath with ropes on it. And the boy and girl on top have to roll the barrel down the course. And a big heavy weight propels the barrow itself down. It's a, it's, a, it's a game for very strong men. But now I see, I don't know what it is, about to play the Glenrothes Joker. 
So now, what is the costume, my love? It's the bumblebee for Glenrothes, the hive of industry. Glenrothes is a hive of industry. It's a very young town, though, isn't it? Where did you start? Uh, just in about 1950. About 1950, with about a, th about a thousand people. Yeah. And how many folk live there now? About 40,000? Yeah, that's right. And how big are you going to grow? Uh, as big as we can. As big as we can. And are you the best town in Fife? Yeah, the greatest. <laughs> the greatest town in Fife! She's a very, very quiet voice, but good luck to you on your Joker as you bumble away with your Joker. And I'm going to call on Arthur to start the game. Arthur. Ready? Three, two, one. The Glenrothes Joker being played. And it's being played on. In the green, though, we have Cumberland. Let's have a look at the Cumberland team, if you want. Greg Connell is pushing, and on top we've got Willie Cox and Joyce Robertson. Now it's easy going down, but coming back, you'll see why mighty muscles are necessary. In the yellow, the playing over steam on their joke. The whole of the contraction turns round. They come back and in the lead. Glen Rovers are coming back first, so a little cheer for the Glen Rovers team wherever you are. And flexing his muscles there, at the back, Dave Seller. What a mighty man. <laughs> Lifting. And a back view of Huey Turner leaving Cloud. What is a good joker to play? It's a very good, it's looking good, unless they catch a crab, I'm sure they'll do it. Yes. Well, then, then Rosa's cheers. Come on, let's be having some over on the far side. And Cumberland, where are we? I think most of them firmly. But they've done it. Come round. We're going to wait till they finish. Ah, yes. Come on, Dave, bring your team into here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I have some nice round of applause for them, please? Come on. Ah, oh, there, this big fella here. Give him a smile. <sighs> From Zigger. <laughs> oh, you never. You never. What are you weighing at, Dave? This is Dave Sellers, by the way. What are you weighing at? 17 stone. And a big, a big rugby player? That's right, yeah. A look, good and look at the mighty mouse here, look at it, oh, pint size, a good joker to play, well won, and congratulations, and uh, we're going to see you in the last game with some fun. Uh, a lot of fun in the last game. Right, Arthur, come in. Uh, Glenn Roth is the winners, obviously. Six points, because they played the joker, six yeah. points to Glenn Roth. Six points to Glenn Roth. Two points to Cumbernauld. Which makes the score. Dunfermline 8, Cumberno 7, Glenrothes 7, two jokers played, one still to come, on to game 4. And before game number 4, a young lady here, sweet and charming, has just pointed out that I've made a crass mistake in my costume. What have I done wrong, my love? You've forgotten to put a ski and do in your sock. A what? A ski and do. A ski and do? Uh, what, what's that? It's a kind of knife. A kind of knife? Where does it go? In there. Why didn't you tell me before I came out? Well, I didn't know. <laughs> well, next time I come to Scotland, you're going to dress me. What's your name? Kathleen. Kathleen. Kathleen what? Herod. I won't forget you. Next time we come, you're dressing me. In the meanwhile, to the game. And it's your own Scottish pastime of tossing the caber. Our caber weighs 300 weights. It's made of solid mahogany. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. And they have to catch it. The boys have to catch it. 300 weight, solid mahogany. They have to topple it down the course and catch it as they go. Again, for strong men, again, Arthur starts it on the whistle. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. They fling. It's got to bounce. Forward. It can't bounce backwards, otherwise it doesn't count, you see? Let's have a look at it and I'll try and explain the rules. 
It's coming towards you. Glenn Roffers in the yellow. That's come with the horse. Well, Fossick, yes, it's good if it goes forward. There in the foreground, Glenn Roffers. It's got to bounce and go forward. If it bounces and goes back, it's a foul toss. Glenn Fowler in the lead from Glenn Roffers. It's neck and neck. And have Glenn Roffers done it? No, Glenn Fowler, yes! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Well, who won that then? Dunfermline? What about Glenn Rothers? Tell me again who won! I think they might think Dunfermline's won, Art. Yes. Dunfermline the winners, in second place... <laughs> you were right! Uh, and in third place, Cumbernall, and the points. Three points to Dunfermline. Three to Dunfermline. Two to Glenn Rothers. Two to Glenn Rothers. And one point to Cumbernauld. One to Cumbernauld, and what a competition it is at the moment then. Dunfermline in the lead with 11 points. Cumbernauld, eight. Glenn Rothers, nine. And once again, it's headed with the marathon. Well, I want to introduce you to a little fella. Uh, I've never met him before, but he's going on television for the first time. A little bit shy fella, actually. But there he is, my little budgie. And he starts to go down, and uh, he's a real entertainer. Would you like to see him? Anyway, we'll uh, get the next game done first, and then we'll have another look at him. But there he is, with Mike setting the other budgies off. This one's the best of the lot. See, does that, no problems. Just, <laughs> right, Mike, you can send the others on, and he does. Oh, we got the camera. <laughs> right, Michael Cavana, P student, and Dan Burns, and he's got the support of the crowd. Dan Firmlin, now Dan Camera, uh, and we've got pushing Mary Blair and George Ross, and the chasing 14. Sheila Given, doing very well, but 14, it was quite a tidy uh, number to be chasing. The way he's wobbling, he's a wobbler. Oh, beautiful. Came right from behind the scrum, caught him, pushed him down. Aye, aye. Not in the men. Bit of practice for some of the would be. Soccer player, I should have said rugby. Probably rugby. Get going. Take a run if you want. Ah, <laughs> that was Sheila. Sheila in the printing room assistance. I shall be told about that both before after and during. No, look, I like them. Oh. What a beautiful drop. But my little budgie, oh, he's a cracker, he's going to become famous overnight. Or some such thing. Steady, steady, sideways. That's it, here he comes. The green, the green eye of the little yellow god. Boo. Bump the daisy. Come on, old. Ah, he's, he's tackling him. He's, he's putting him down. Hey, my, my put you like that. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I'm not a timekeeper, so I'm sorry. Are we the, oh, they're the council in what to do now. It was a good run for them, but they've got to wait for Jan to tell us, here she comes, what the score was and why and how and anything you want to say. Cumbernauld got eight budgies safely across, so they've done firmly with 14. Eight and 14, right, well thank you very much and back now to Stuart. Well there is uh, Sam Wilson of Glenrothes and he's a float. 
on a raft in the middle of our pool with a thousand piranha fish and five man-eating crocodiles around again. His job is to be towed back and forth across the pool at high speed, collecting footballs as he goes, and we count them one by one. But now, will you welcome a dashing young lady from BBC Two. She is Maggie herself, ladies and gentlemen, Kirsty Miller. Nice round of applause for Kirsty Miller. Now then, darling, you've just finished a series. When is the next one starting? We'll start filming in August for it to come out sometime next year. We shall all make a point of looking. But tell me, why are you playing the Cumbernauld Joker? Well, I, well I've lived in Cumbernauld all my life, and it's Cumbernauld's 25th birthday this year, so we're all celebrating, and I'm a Cumbernauld kid. I am a Cumbernauld kid, it says on her left, uh, on the left side of her chest, I should say. <laughs> I did, nearly dropped one there, but saved myself just in time. But Cumbernauld is, is a, one of those brash new towns, isn't yes. it? Yes, it's 25 years, 25 years old this year, so we're all celebrating with things, and we're all chuffed that we're in it. So, okay, we're going to win! We're going to win, you say! Joker! On the Joker game, she says, shouting away. <laughs> there are one or two people from Dunfermline who don't agree with you, but good luck to you anyway. Two Jokers played this afternoon, two, one, good luck to you as well. Arthur, are you ready? Sam's up top. Ready? Three, two, one... <laughs> Sam, up onto the raft, across the pool, towed by Gordon Ross, on the far side. And I can hear in the background the cheerleaders of Glen Walters. Sam, super Sam. Teaches PE, so he's good on the balance, picks up a football, goes across. Back in time for two. Patience, Sam. Patience, Bill. Oh, oh. You're all waiting for one of the rope pullers to go in, aren't you? Oh, yes. That's Anne Stevenson. Pulling him back. Just 18. Coming up for three. Limit time, two minutes. Cumbernauld on the Joker, and they're going last in the heaps. Dunfermline next, of course. It's three. Any time now. We could do. You have 30 seconds. Now, as he goes across, can I have a nice big shh? You've 20 seconds, Sam, to make another run. Sam, Sam, 20 seconds, 50, come on. You've got to go like stink. One. Eight, seven, six. And a round of applause for Sam. Come on, put your hands together for Sam, he's a good sport. Thank you, Miss Stevenson, for your part in that extravaganza. Arthur. Yes. Lady Rothley scored four. Just four. Ladies and gentlemen, your Dunfermline superstar, Ian Watson. <laughs> this time, on the water and not on the hooks. What can he do, Arthur? Put him on his way. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Confirming cheerleaders in the background, going through a dazzling routine. Super smart girls, trained by a former Bluebell girl. Just at the back, one for Young Ian Watson. And the pullers, Joyce Souter, auburn haired, well muscled, teacher of physical education. To the side, Dougie Arneal. And it's a touch of the baiting in the breath, isn't it? And you just bait your breath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Coming for three. Tumbling on the Joker. 
rapidly emerging as the star of this afternoon's games here in Dunfermline. The ancient seat of kings in Scotland. going so fast there's actually a wake. He is jet propelled young Dr. Watson. Shh, shh. Ooh. 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 And the cheetah, come on! Oh, oh then, nice and quiet while he coughs. Give him the doing and uh, the score for Dunfermline five so Glenn Rogers four Dunfermline five and Cumbernauld now on their joker and this is absolutely critical and Ken McLean diesel mechanic sometime of Cumbernauld what can you do Ken we're with you ready three two one so it's four for Glenn Rogers five for Dunfermline One or two of the audience rather slow to cheer when he made a successful run. In the foreground. Oh! Oh! He, he looks remarkably insecure. But he, yes, it's true. Coming across to the far side. Towed by Abu Fleming. Here's Abu. On the other side is Rick McGrath. It's three, but I think you're behind on the clock. You have 45 seconds. This will make you. Even with Glenn Rothers. This is five. And the audience sensing that he might be on a victory. With 30 seconds to go, Ken McLean. 30 seconds. Less now, you've this for the win. 20 seconds, Ken McLean will have to go. One more. 15 seconds, Ken, can he do it in 15? Can he make it in 15? Can he do it? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 4, 5! Give Ken McLean his round of applause on a sport. Come on, everybody. He went like dynamite, that boy. How was that great try, Arthur? And the score for uh, the score for the game: Cumbernault five, Dunfermline five, Glenrothes four. And the points: three points to Cumbernault. They played the Yorker, doubled it up to six. Six points to Cumbernault. Six points to Cumbernault. We'll give Ross time to put up the points. Three points to Dunfermline. Three points to Dunfermline. And one point to Glenn Rothers. One point to Glenn Rothers. So what the neck and neck contest is becoming now. Dunfermline and Cumbernauld with 14 points apiece. Glenn Rothers with 10. And on to game number six. And it's all about stepping stones. Four stepping stones and they're all linked together. A boy and a girl atop each one. Obviously the three teams are playing. They've got to come up the course and they are towed on great big ropes by strong men and ladies at the other end. You'll enjoy this one on Arthur's whistle. Three, two, one. Oh, 
The important factor about this game is to get your jumping synchronized. If you don't, it's all of the pole. Now watch carefully. Glenn Rothers. Cumberdell in the middle. That's Cumberdell in the green. And on the far side there, Dunfermline in the lead. Pauline Young. Watch the way they jump together. Pauline Young and Jim Patterson. It's almost like guys dancing. They're well together, well in the lead. Some Dunfermline cheers, please. Whoa! Cumberdell in the middle making a fight of it. But there's your picture. A lot of strength needed at the far end, too, because the boy and the girl pulling need to haul the stepping stones along. You can see they're all linked. They swivel, but you must have your jumping absolutely in rhythm. Dunfermly caught a crab there. They got out of sync. But Dunfermly about to finish. I'll tell you when they're finishing, and they're doing it. No, Dunfermly finished. Oh, they celebrate. Oh, some cracking teams this afternoon. Cumbernold are coming in. And Glen Roth is a finishing third. But a fine run there by Dunfermline. Well led, well coached. Plenty of rhythm and plenty of synchronization. Mm. And, uh, and the winner is Dunfermline. Three points to Dunfermline. Three points to Dunfermline. <laughs> Two points to Cumbernold. Two points to Cumbernold, pushing them hard. One point to Glen Rothis. One point to Glen Rothis. There's the state of the poll. Dunfermline 17, Cumbernauld 16, Glen Rothis 11, and the last marathon is Eddie with you. I think uh, I think they'll have to go, but however, they provide a bit of fun and it's all good fun. But it's the final leg now of the marathon. With Glen Rothis on the perch and Cumbernauld flying at them. So it's ready, boys. Mike, you start them off. 14 plays eight. What's going to happen? And there he went for the early bus very quickly then. So Ann Stevenson, who is a student, and Kenny Lamb, who is a student, and Sam Wilson, who is a PE teacher. One. Ah, nice jump. Michael, how they're flying through the air. Bye. Hey, hey. He got a rocket. Wait. <laughs> Go back, Sam. Go back. It looks like a big porpoise or something. There. Give it a knock now with your nuts. Oh, I can do it with either. Don't think it matters. That does it. Sticking his chest out like a grenadier. So, the, the name will repeat them. So, their friends know they've taken part in it's a knockout. Tom Wilson and Anne Stevenson. Kenny Lamb. And for Cumbernauld, Michael Cavana, Hugh Waters, and Sheila Gimnack, and uh, of all the. A minigun, by the way. All the critics of uh, Yorkshire vowels, etc., and uh, no doubt it will be passed on. With all my Scottish pals, had a lot of letters from them the past few weeks. And they're doing a mighty job, creation of 14 and an 8. That's, uh, oh yes, that's, that's a tree. <laughs> it looks like anything. Come on, that's it. Way. Well, we've got it uh, pretty sorted out now. The lads on the bell, and he goes. Back healing. I think that it's a back heel in the sheet. I think that must be on. Right. How long have we have we a long time to go yet? Ah yes. Got to say you've got some fans who say go on. Five seconds. Come on, you have time to get to it. You don't lie mad. And the way it 
Girls, I did the whistle. Had the whistle gone? The whistle's gone. The whistle's gone. So we're, uh, well, we've got it sorted out. So well done, Glen Rothers. And here comes uh, Mike Swan with the score. Well, that, that was very close because Glen Rothers scored eight, the same as Cumbernauld. Ah. So that's all right. So we'll transfer that back to the master scoreboard, we can shall indeed, we? Can yes. Yes. Yeah, go and do that, will you? So in first place with six points, Dunfermline. In second place with four points, Cumbernauld. And last and the least? Well, they're also in second place with four points, Glen Rothes. Well done. So, there's all done right. Well, from this I know to Stuart. And here we come to another game for strong men. An enormous hammer and chain so heavy that I can barely lift it. Must weigh at least a hundred weight. But here, from Glenrothes, we have Drew Clooney, who not only has to lift it but swing his round his head, hammer throwing as he goes, and down the course, you have ten balls. Can you do it, Drew? Can you even lift it? I ask myself. Lift it up and show us your mighty muscles. Off he goes to a great sustain round of applause and Arthur's whistle. Look at that! Isn't it marvellous? One! Two! No! It's got to hit the ball to count. If it hits the stands, yes, that's a good one. Every time he hits the ball, it's in with, I want a nice round of applause. Yes! Yes! Arthur, only Arthur knows what he's up to. This is Drew Clooney of Glen Roses. And what did he make? What it, Glen Rothus. Now it's Glen Rothus. How do you say that? You tell me how you pronounce your T. Glen Rothus! That's what we've been saying, Glen Rothus. We didn't, did, did we? Didn't we say Glen Rothers? Yes! <laughs> They're getting involved in the match, and why not? <laughs> well, why is he knocked them all off? Only four counted. Ah, yes. So the score for Glen Rothers is four. Four for Glen Rothers, and now, ah, a mighty man from Duncan, in Terry O'Connor, a farman trying to beat four on Arthur's whistle. Ready. One, you think? It's got to be a clean one. Ooh, yes. No. That was a clean sweep. Was this for the win, I think? Oh. We can't tell who's won until Arthur adjudicates. It's got to be a clean knock off the pole. Does that look good to me? Our audience obviously think so, and they'll give them a tumult of applause. Yes! Well, who's won that? Glenn Rothers. You what? Glen Rothers! Glen Rothers! Come firmly! <laughs> yes, I like enthusiasm. Yes, Doom Furman scored nine. Three points to Doom Furman. You were right. Three points to Doom Furman. Ros on the scoreboard. That makes them a total of 26. And two points to Glen Rothers. Glen Rothers, two points, makes them 17. So handsomely in the lead, we have Dunfermline 26, Cumberland with 20, the Rothers with 17, and to our last fantastic game. The ancient abbey of Dunfermline, where are buried kings and queens, princes and princesses, which magically changes into our castle. 
Our last game, you know it by now, the three boys in the foreground jump down, have to build their own bridge to the top of the drawbridge, let it down, and all the rest evacuate the castle, and that's the end of the game. Hijinks, outrageousness on Arthur's whistle. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Where are the dumb cheers then? Come along! But we could have a world record time for this game. You knockout buffs who sit there at home with your stopwatches and your pads strapped to your knees. The best time we've had for this game so far throughout the series has been 1 minute 20 seconds into 4 this afternoon. All the teams have 4. Glenn Roth is on the right. By now, as you know, in the yellow in the middle, Dunn family, on the left, Combinold. The drivers. You might know who's doing it for Dunfermline, might you not? Superstar Ian Watson. In the middle, at first up, we have Combinold. On the way down, Dunfermline, Superstar Watson. Lowers the drawbridge, goes to release backstage his compatriots, who will then come stampeding out one by one. Off. Oh. Or done firmly, that was Mike Joyner, the team captain. The two girls, boom! Pauline and Mari. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Dave Sellers. Now oh, they've done firmly, they win it, but. Watch Dave Sellers come leaping out. Here he comes down, his big fella, watch it. Wolf! <laughs> well, if you ask me what knockout's about, it's about guys like that. 17 stone. He's unbelievable, this guy. Watch, watch the whole tent deflate when he jumps on it. Confirming the finish come. Here he goes again, big day! Yes, they're helping him on. Let him go and have another jump. The posterior of Dave, yes. Wonderful. Boom! Crash! <laughs> and I think we've just about cracked it. Yes! Big Dave! Big Dave Sellers, there he is. Big Dave! We'll never forget you. Knockout is compounded of characters like that. Oh, oh, he's a smashing guy. We had to, we had to let it run. Yes, of course. And the winners, Dunfermline. Three points to Dunfermline. Three points to Dunfermline. Two points to Cumbernauld. Two points to Cumbernauld. And one point to Glen Rothers. One point to Glen Rothers. And that's the state of the poll. Reading from the bottom, 18 to Glen Rothers, 22 to Cumbernauld, but handsome winners with the biggest total so far. Dunfermline with 29 points to Eddie at the scoreboard. Well, um, well, uh, thank you, Roz. I thought you did a marvellous job. Probably a bit cold, but uh, it is well. And uh, chairman of the de of the de <laughs> district council, Mr. Mayor, would you care to come forward? And congratulations on your uh, performance. Going to make history with the town. Oh yes, it's going to make history with the town. We haven't got a very good football team, but this team's one of our best. Well, thank you very much for taking part. Thank and, you. And uh, we hope to see you again sometime. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Provost Leslie Wood. I'm not Provost Leslie Wood. Oh, he's just come out. Thank you. As per usual, I will run down from the top. Sherban go to Lignano in Italy. Hull go to Pula in Yugoslavia. Dartmouth go to Lisbon in Portugal. Luton go to Chardoua in Belgium. And today's handsome winners, and what a bonny team, Dunfermline, represent us at my ring in a lovely town in Switzerland. So there you have it. Don't forget, it's a championship knockout where all the domestic heat winners joust and how will Dunfermline fare against the rest of them. That's from Park Hall, Charlotte Richard in the heart of Lancashire. And again from Lancashire next week from Blackpool, from the Derby bus, the first time we've staged It's a Knockout Indoors, from Derby bus, Blackpool, Chorley against Warrington, against Blackpool. Another mighty marathon, and what a, what a one this afternoon, well, what a wonderful Feeling event. well? No. Yes. Good. Really what enjoyed great, it. What a great crowd, I mean, marvellous. Super crowd, marvellous teams.
a wonderful ambience, eh? Ambience? Like that, yes. All right, Everyone's let's say goodbye, going. shall we? Thanks for everything. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>